Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's iconic video. And you say, well, Tony, you do a lot of videos. Why is this one iconic? Because this is the last of this car. This is a real deal 138 code. A lot of people say, well, what does a 138 code mean? Well, it's in the VIN number or depending on the car, uh, it's on the Cal tag, designating the fact that it's a real super sport. So what happened to us in 1970 is we had no way to tell uh, whether these cars were original super sports or not. But in this case here, uh, we can because it's, uh, it's definitely in there. And this is a beautiful restoration on top of the fact I love the color combination. Let me just tell you something. We're doing this video circuit 2020 and the, one of the most popular colors for 2020 right now is white with a red interior. Brand new Mercedes, brand new Porsches, things like that. People are doing this color combination. This is from 1967. It was hot then and it's hot now. So a lot of times people say to me, you know what, Tone, that's a great looking car but they never elaborate on it or they don't really know why. So it's all of the little stuff that makes for a great car. So the super sport car that we're talking about today, all new chrome, and it's reflecting in the screen of, of what you're seeing right now. It's in the pictures, it's in the driving video, right? The chrome just looks so great. This vented style looking hood, this is a super sport hood, okay? Then you throw in the short hat, the correct center caps on this car, not the tall hat ones that you would have got later on, but the 67 ones with red line tires. These red line tires, right? are redline radials. The original tires were bias ply tires and they do not drive that well. This right here is a guaranteed 50% improvement in driving over that. It doesn't wander, it doesn't get stuck in ruts as easily, it just goes down and rides really nice. You know, I think about going out with another couple or taking the kids out in this, going out to dinner with another couple, like this is a very different experience when you head out. It just makes for great and there's room inside here. The four speed is so nice in here and it's, you hear the engine rise and fall. It's comfortable, you're not jammed into the tiny little car. It's just a cool piece. All right, so this right here, ermine white is a great looking color. It's just this super clean looking white. Because some whites are a little bit too yellow, some are just a little too bright, right? This is just a great combination of white. And a lot of people don't know that there's so many different shades of white, whether there's grays in there or blues in there or whatever. This just seems to work really well. It makes the red interior pop with the red lines and the red pinstripe on the side. But the quality of the paint is what we're really talking about here. You need to be able to read the letters and things like that super clear in here. Have somebody show you that, not see the reflection of this in here, but able to read every letter and see that because that means that somebody spent a good amount of time uh, wet sanding and buffing the paint, making sure that the prep work ahead of time was done the right way and that you're getting a quality, quality paint job. So let's take a peek at that right now. All right, let's take a peek under here. Now, if I'm gonna own a car, this is a real deal car, but it's slightly over restored. You say, well, Tony, is that a bad thing or a good thing? Well. If I'm gonna own a car, I would like it more over-restored than under-restored, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So for instance, this is how you'll know somebody built this car to drive, and that's what you want. You don't wanna buy a car that was like put together or just sprayed real quick for resale. You want something that was built for his. Unfortunately, this person couldn't drive the car anymore, and so now we're helping him uh, find a new home for it. So like in this case here, this right here is chrome and polished. The intake has an EnduraShine uh, finish on it, which is that. The manifolds, the exhaust manifolds, were sent out to Jet Hot Coat and had them been ceramic coated, so they're not gonna rust right away like you would a ceramic headers or the, or the paint that you use. Modern air conditioning and heat. This is a full 365 car, man. You wanna drive this car all the time. Obviously not in the snow or the rain or the ice, but. You want to be able to take it out in the fall and the winter and things like that, plus the AC. Again, you're going out to dinner with the family or, or friends or another couple, whatever that may be, and the AC is really nice to have, all right? And again, a lot of polishedness here, but power disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, right? I can keep going on about all of the nice things that are in here. This little green knob is nice because it cuts the power on and off. So if you don't drive the car for a while, you just make a quarter turn of this knob. The battery's all charged up and ready to go whenever you want. This right here uh, is a big feature to the car and you may not uh, have even noticed it, but to me it's probably one of the most important things. And that's this giant radiator. This radiator right here is 50% uh, bigger than the factory radiator. And it has electric fans back here, called it fan modules, all right, that directs all this air through, especially when you do air conditioning because you have to put uh, air conditioning parts in front of the radiator. And this pulls so much more air than the factory one. The car runs cool. You can idle in traffic if you're on the beach or something like that. You don't have to worry about running the air conditioning and the car overheating. Anyway, beautifully detailed. You won't be ashamed to open the hood, right, to show some friends or go to a car show or something like that because it looks really, really nice in here. 
I just like to talk about the back part of these cars here for a second. This is really some nice styling that's been put into it. The fact that the rear quarters extend out past the trunk, not many cars do that. So a lot of times people say, well, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. And I like to point out some of these things here. This call out is a nice little piece. These cars are pretty fast and you could surprise somebody, uh, especially in a modern car, and not to mention the sound that it makes. But what I do like to say is the underneath is all done. Uh, you can see the 12 bolt in there. You can see the detail under there. But little stuff like this is what I really love. And this is the effort that somebody put into this car. That. Nicely done, all painted and detailed, splatter coat painted, correct trunk mat in here. You know, it's just nice. You want to go to a car show and show off your whole car, you could do that as well. All right, so come join me. That's the sound we're looking for. Come on, join me in here for a second. All right, so remember, a bench seat was standard, right? Buckets and console were not standard. This upgraded sound system looks pretty stock, but it's a digital sound system. You can uh, get your music out of your phone. This has this full upgraded gauges right here. If you don't love those hanging down, we can wire up the factory gauges inside there and eliminate that if you'd like to. But I like to leave that for people to decide what to do. And again, having a little bit of storage in here is nice. The air conditioning you can see, but all of this dash is new. The seat covers are new, the door panels, the uh, all of this stuff. This had a, uh, you know, the white shifter ball. This is, it just feels so good in this car. And I like to point out that there's a lot of room back there. I mean, it's uh, set up for two. We could add another seat belt for a third person, but there's red seat belts in the whole car and uh, new carpets and floor mats. And I say all these things because a lot of people say, well, uh, why does it cost that much? And you say, well, because uh, you had to rebuild the entire car. And if you try to buy a modern car today for X, and then you try to build it out of a parts catalog, it costs you five times the price of the regular car. And that's why this is the way to buy them when they're all restored. All right, so we close up the video on uh, the last run of these iconic cars. Remember, this is the last year for this body style. In the past, it's typically been the last year of that body style are the ones that go up uh, in value more. Take the 69 Camaro, for instance, right? Always uh, an iconic car. At the end of that run, when they changed the 70, the 69s have always bought significantly more money. These right here have definitely found their way and their niche, and people love the body style of this car. It's just very, very classic. Throw in the fact that we have power disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, the upgraded digital sound that's kind of uh, retro looking as well. It's just got a great feel, four speed, 12 volt, 350 to 400 horsepower with a ton of torque. It's just got a great sound. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this real super sport. And uh, don't forget, if you would, share uh, this with your friends. And make sure to like the video. That would help out a lot. And we're going to do a little test drive video right here, so you get to watch that as well. And uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Maybe you had a Chevelle you restored, or maybe your parents had a Chevelle and you rode around it as a kid, or maybe you're one of the parents and you rode around and now it's time for you to get that car back after, you know, you had to do all the stuff to get your life and rhythm and things like that. And we'd love to help you do that.